everyone, and uh, welcome to my vlog. So we're now starting uh, our night duty work. So apparently, my reliever just told me a few moments ago that he is preparing the high pressure hose, which is uh, I have to continue. Um, from what I understand, I have to prepare the hot, prepare the high pressure hose. Uh, from this one to the garbage room, right uh, to the steering gear. So, uh, let me check for a second there. So, alright. Okay, uh, oh yeah, this is our incinerator uh, machine there. Okay. Um, okay, I'm not familiar with the uh, engine room right now, but if I recall correct, uh, the high pressure hole should be right just about here. Okay, so this is the one that I have to prepare and, uh, you know, put onto the uh, steering gear. So this is our high pressure hose uh, that I'm looking at, so I have to deliver this to the uh, steering gear. Okay, so I'll just be bringing it back, I mean, I'll be bringing this to the steering gear. Uh, I think there's a shortcut somewhere here. Okay, let me just recall it. Honestly, right now, the engine room's a bit confusing, so, uh... Yeah, I think there's a direct access here, somewhere. Yeah, I think this is the place where there's a direct access to the steering gear room. So what you can see here, steering gear room. YOLA! So yeah, finally, that was the direct access for the uh, steering gear room. So I'll just probably go and uh, put this uh, high pressure hose okay so we can see the co uh, the high pressure hose connection is here yeah from the looks of it and right now uh, there seems to be uh, you know, the pneumatic, uh, the pneumatic pen here. So I'm just gonna put this one here. Yeah, the pneumatic turbine, uh, air turbine, is already pumping its way just to ventilate the fresh water, uh, fresh water tank, which is this one. Probably they'll be uh, cleaning this whole entire uh, freshwater tank tomorrow morning. So my role is just basically to facilitate and prepare the tools needed. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm just going to connect this one. Uh, this high pressure hose uh, to, this, uh, to this connection. Okay, so the male and female sockets already connected, so we're good with that. Oh, they even uh, prepared the welding pump. Okay. So the next thing what I'll be doing is make sure that the, uh, that the high pressure hose uh, is connected to the high pressure machine. Okay, so this might... 
Yeah, I'm just adjusting my uh, helmet. Whew. Honestly, it's quite warm right now in the uh, steering gear room. Don't know why. Okay, we're now right on the aft area of the ship. Oh. So, while I'm uh, going to connect the high pressure hose, the high pressure machine, I'm just gonna check uh, if the mooring here is doing good and we don't have any, uh, you know, our ship is in the. Uh, Okay, so it seems that the moorings are okay, which is good news. Okay, so our welding, we're waiting for folks from our shipyard, so they'll have their tools around. So there's nothing much. Oh yeah, by the way, I would just like to inform that the gangway has been removed right now due to uh, bad weather. So, uh, so uh, no one's guarding, or I'm not obliged to uh, guard or stay on guard on the gangway because uh, there's no gangway to begin with. So we're okay with that. So the only thing that I have now, I mean, uh, I'll now proceed to my. Uh, work. So I just made some few detour checks. Okay, so our garbage room is doing good. This is the, this is the connection. Alright, so I think I have to prepare is how I would, uh, well, normally, I guess the best thing I would do is tie this one. So that it won't, uh, so that it won't clip the, or, uh, or it won't clip the connection between the, between the, uh, the high pressure, uh, machine to the high pressure holes. Okay, right now, so probably I'll be using the extension uh, connection here. Huh. Okay, so I guess this is something. Wait, let me take a look. Okay, let me see. Just give me a moment. So right now... Right now the connection to our high pressure nozzle is... Uh, oh, okay. Can I have some, uh, okay, so I probably have to work this one out. Okay. Let me check. Probably have to get the whole, uh, the whole cord out.
not sure if this is compatible. Okay, uh, right. So I guess I have to figure this out for a moment. Okay, I'm just gonna switch off and uh, figure this out. So just give me a few moments. All right, so I figured it out. So I basically what I did was I just rerouted this connection uh, from our high pressure wash all the way up, um, all the way up here. And then I tied it up. So the connection goes all the way down. So what happened was that I made a shortcut, which is much shorter than what was originally uh, said to me by my reliever or the one that I relieved at so the connection just give me a moment comes all the way from up which I had pointed earlier now we're going down all the way up here of course so we just trace it out we're going out to the door that I entered earlier, which is this one. And all the way here to the steering. Um, yeah, to the steering. So we, I made a little bit of... Uh, uh, I lined it up on the... And all the way up here connected to these. So what I did now was a shortcut. So I guess the cords here are enough to reach all of the corners of this uh, of the fresh water uh, fresh water tank. So yeah, I guess that's all ready for tomorrow morning. So what I'm going to do just now is just basically just clean up the extra high pressure hose that my uh, co-worker uh, prepared earlier so what I made was a shortcut which makes it more easier and uh, more accessible and saves us the uh, long stretch of the cord so we don't have to go around okay I'm just gonna go for a fresh air uh, it was uh, you know, it took me a few minutes uh, using all that brain work on how to shorten the cord Whew. All right. At least it's the deck area is a bit co cooler than the engine room. The engine room right now feels more like a sauna. Okay, I have no idea why. Why? Maybe they're running a lot of motors in there. Who knows? Okay, so I'm just gonna coil this uh, hose here, this high pressure hose, and then return it to the uh, uh, high pressure machine. So I'll just have to, I guess this is the right place to coil it. I'm just going to coil it to a circle. Yeah, it took me a while to get all that brain work working, but I did solve the problem. And that's what matters. Okay, right. Whew. Sometimes it takes a little bit brain matter. Just a little brain matter to figure out things. But anyway, if you're working as a, you know, as a typical seafarer, you don't have to do much brain work. Uh, very little. Uh, mostly, if uh, 
to anybody who doesn't know that uh, mostly uh, the work of a seafarer is mostly a manual labor type similar to uh, how you work in a construction uh, in construction yard or something like that or similar to construction and maintenance actually if you come to think about it seafarers are actually construction and maintenance on the ship yeah the only difference from construction and maintenance from I mean from a seafarer from a real construction and maintenance worker is that uh, the real construction and maintenance of worker works on land and seafarers uh, me in particular and most of uh, most of it work on the sea a lot of people think that seafarers work like uh, pilots do that they're just stuck in the bridge commanding the ship and piloting the ship but in actual in reality and in real life, the seafarer works as a construction worker on board a ship. On board a ship. So uh, I could tell the difference because I myself am an aviation student and I uh, study aviation at the same time. Aside from working as a seafarer. So I could tell the difference. Of course, in the aviation, there's a se separate uh, group that deals with. Uh, you know, maintenance and uh, construction. It's usually done by the, air, the aircraft mechanic, not the pilot or the, uh, you know, what we, call, what we call pilots. However, in Seafarer, it's more like a, a different thing. So anyway, that finishes my first line of job. Uh, just making sure that the, uh, uh, just making sure that the, uh, Uh, making sure that the uh, high pressure hose gets lined up. So it's already lined up. So my second part of the job is just check on the mooring wires and be on standby. Okay, I, I don't think that's much of a problem because uh, you know mooring wires here isn't exactly much. Uh, uh, much of an issue. So just a quick round and uh, we'll be it. Oh by the way, um, we're currently painting this one. We're just finishing the work on this, uh, you know, this uh, steps for the catwalk. We're just painting it uh, now on the third coat. We painted it again with the color gray. So I guess they pretty uh, they did a pretty good job or my reliever or the one who replaced me uh, the 4 to each shift uh, does a great job of uh, finishing that work so right now our gangway is still down there because of uh, I don't know some weather that says it's gonna be very windy so they as a precaution they don't want the gangway to fall off so they just already uh, took it out and put it on the ground so we're good with that. I'm just gonna adjust that. Oh great, they just left the uh damn it, they just left the ISPS up in the open to the rain. Yeah, I'm just gonna check the mooring ropes, see if they're doing good, and then head back. So at the moment, you can see tons of wires littered all over the area. Is uh, we're replacing a lot of stuff here, wires, cords, etc., all sorts of stuff. Anyway, at least uh, I took this one out for a, a, you know, a quick tour on the, uh, well actually after I go doing this uh, round, I would like to, or probably go to the engine room and make a quick uh, tour about what's inside the engine room. That'll be an interesting topic, I guess. 
So uh, I'll just finish this round. Uh, I think I got enough, uh, oh yeah, I still got enough uh, uh, energy on my battery here to do that. And probably enough more than enough memory to make a whole, uh, you know, a whole tour of the area. Okay, the hydro fan's working. It's still buzzing loudly as it should. Gonna check the mooring here. Right, it seems that the mooring's all okay. No problems with that as long as it's tight. The spring line seems, uh, the first line seems to be okay as well. Now just do a little check. Okay, I'll just go take a peek. I'm not sure if this being is, uh, I'm not sure if the action camera could view this because, the, like I said, action cameras have a problem with low light. Okay, seems we're good with that. So, headlines and press lines are all okay, especially on the spring line. So, now time to head back. And go for a quick uh, engine tour, I guess. Oh, well, what do you know? It seems that they're also doing work here. Probably some welding stuff, some light stuff. Uh, from the looks of it, they're doing some sort of welding. Uh, yeah, indeed, they're doing some welding here in this area. You can see the burn marks there from the welding. Uh, this is a uh, close valve during BLS operation. So it's probably related to a BLS valve of some kind. Not sure of the technical specifications, but it is, uh, I could have sworn that this is used for uh, BLS. So there we go, there's a welding going on here. I haven't checked on the uh, deck trunk recently because I was uh, stuck on, uh, you know, uh, doing a gangway watch for several days. So uh, they've already, uh, as a precaution, they've already put the fire extinguishers on standby as well. So yeah. So I guess this is the pipe that they had to replace. It has a burnout uh, welding, so uh, yeah, I guess it really is. So uh, there we go, that's the whole uh, area of our, uh, you know, the whole site where the welder works for now. We're welding some pipes. Well, you can see all the wires here connected all over the uh, trunk deck. Basically, these are electrical wires, I suppose. Like this one. Probably it's a connection for uh Yeah, let me take a look. Yep, it's a connection for welding from the looks of it. They have safety switches here. They have uh, switches here. So a connection. It's basically an extension board for welding. Which uh it would trace back, it goes all the way up several meters again, and then there's another extension cord. Yep, just like I said, just like I figured, another extension cord right there. And another one. And of course another one. 
So I got this ghost on for a couple of meters, every so, couple of so on meters. Runs all the way through the catwalk inside the uh, trunk deck. Yeah, same here. I guess there's enough time for me, or more than enough time for me to roam around the engine room. Assuming that there's no one uh, on duty at that time. Well, yeah, there's those CCTV cameras, but uh, I'm not uh, sure that uh, anybody's manning their CCTV right now. So we got tools all over the place right now because of this wet box thing. Okay, I'm just gonna take a while, take a break here because it's cooler. I'll uh, enjoy the fresh breath, uh, fresh breath of air for the moment.